Chronic kidney disease, or CKD, affects 26 million adults in the United States. In order to understand what CKD is, it's best to first understand what your kidneys do and why they're important to your overall health. The kidney's main function is to remove toxins uh, from the bloodstream and then the toxins and electrolyte abnormalities will get absorbed or secreted within the tubules of the kidney. The bad stuff leaves in your urine, the good stuff stays. Patients that have chronic kidney disease, they don't filter their blood as well, so they'll have buildup of certain poisons. One of the other main functions of the kidneys is to produce a hormone called erythropoietin, or EPO, as it's commonly known. This is a hormone that helps red blood cells mature and what can happen is when people have chronic kidney disease that advances they can become anemic simply because their kidneys don't work very well. Uh, there's blood tests that can be done to check the uh, kidney function level. You can determine what is your approximate filtration rate of the kidney and as filtration rate drops CKD becomes more severe and with the severity comes other complications as well. So how do you know if you have CKD? There's a simple test that determines the amount of protein in your urine. It's a test you can discuss with your health care provider if you're concerned about your kidney function. From a kidney standpoint, and then we'll see what... If the patient does not take ownership of the various problems that led to them getting chronic kidney disease, like their diabetes and high blood pressure, the chronic kidney disease will progress and they can end up being on dialysis, permanent kidney replacement treatments either through dialysis or uh, a kidney transplant. Well, when I first found out about that I was going to have to have things put in my chest and I was going to have to do dialysis, I was like, I don't know what's going to happen now, I'm going to die or what, you know, I, I thought I was going to die. That's what I thought. This is all of my uh, family. These are, this is my parents. When I found out that I was going to need a transplant, I really didn't share that information with anyone for a long time. I think you just think, you know, what am I going to do? Uh, I can't ask someone for a kidney. Chronic kidney disease is best handled in its early stages because then you have the advantage of time to, to do something to try to limit the progression of the disease. There are some things you can do to live well with CKD. To prevent progression, the greatest challenge is getting really good control of the blood sugar for diabetics and also getting really good control of the blood pressure for people that have high blood pressure. And there are certain dietary things that people can do, watching the amount of salt they uh, take in. Patients that smoke tend to have more progressive chronic kidney disease because their blood pressure is often harder to control. For patients that smoke, we strongly suggest that they, they stop because stopping at any point is always better than continuing at any point. CKD affects millions nationwide. But now, you're armed with information that you and your healthcare provider can use to minimize the effects of CKD on your overall health. For more information about chronic kidney disease, visit the websites on your screen.